Hi Capricorn, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for December 2018 and happy birthday Capricorn. <laughs> it's the end of the year, it's your turn, we're in Capricorn season. Come the end of the month, you get to take over for four weeks and lead us into some different structure and just Capricornian energy, which is very exciting. But before we get there, we've got a whole month to break down, okay? So before we jump in and start breaking things down in this video, I wanna remind you that the new blog is up at stormygrace.com so you can check out all of the major astrological aspects and transits that are happening in December so don't feel like you're missing anything I've got all of them up there for you and I even give you a little blurb on how to um, apply your chart to find out where those energies are at and how they're interacting with each other so got all the tea for you online at stormygrace.com okay as well you've just got a few days to take advantage of that 45,000 subscriber gift which is also in the description box down below. It's my gift to say thank you very much for 45,000 subscribers. So take advantage and t uh, before they're gone, okay? All right, so as we come into this month, Capricorn, we're coming in with Uranian energy, and I think it's a really important focus, obviously from now until March, but as we're here in December, because December is a month where we kind of get to take a deep breath. For you, it's birthday time, so there's a lot of resetting happening here after a long year of retrograding, stalling, having to slow down and adjust. Um, you're actually getting a little bit of help right now, not to mention from December last year until now, you've had Saturn moved into your sign and the first year of Saturn in any sign is really, really jolting. It feels like things are shocking, depressing, and they are just falling away or so incredibly hard that that first year really is a shock to the system. But you're a little bit more adjusted now. So in December, breathe, just breathe, okay? So with Uranian energy being retrograde, being retrograde in Aries and backed up here to your fourth house zone, the fourth house is home, property, real estate, family, relationships with women, your inner security, right? All of these things are under investigation. So the very first thing I would love for you to do is take a look back. Uranus has already worked this particular area for seven years. It's brought all kinds of interesting things into your home life, has it not? So look back now, okay? I want you to look back seven years ago to where you are today and what's the progress you've made. Let's start at the progress. Don't start with what's not perfect. Start where's the progress? How have you advanced forward? How have you thought a little bit outside of the box, right? The next thing I really need you to pay attention to over this next little bit of time until March is what are the actions, attitudes, and behaviors you've still got going on that are actually keeping your home zone in a space that's not as free as it could be. Because remember, Uranus comes to break down structures and bring different things into your world, but he does it to raise you to the next vibration. So that's what this energy is about, okay? So take a look at the progress you've made, but then also see where you could still be holding yourself or this particular area back in your life, all right? All right, let's look at some dates. So right here at the beginning of the month on the second, we've got Venus who is not retrograde and we can all say thank you for that in Scorpio. Now just here on the sixth, we're also gonna have Mercury coming direct in Scorpio. Now these energies light up for you the 11th house. This is friends and let me tell you Capricorn, what solidly comes through for me is that it is time to retribe up, okay? Whether it's that you've gotta go back with that Venus energy and give these old friends some love dig back into the friend zone the social networking zone because Capricorn I really feel like having Saturn in your sign for that first year you've gone through a lot it's a lot whether it's a good a lot or a stressful a lot it's been a lot and you've got to have a soft place to land love on your friends social and tribe back up because Mercury will be coming direct here what could be happening as well is that maybe you're setting up a social group or something like that maybe you're 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 inviting people over to your house or you're saying, hey, let's meet once a week to do something like that or you're willing to do something like that. The Mercury piece being direct is gonna bring forward moving conversation. Being in Scorpio, this is an intimate place. You are intimately trying to reconnect and bring new value 
to your friendship zone, which could also bring new people to your friendship zone, right? Maybe people who've been in your kind of sphere or something like that, but you've never really interacted with them. And the changes and the maturity and the leveling up that both Saturn and Pluto have been bringing you has kind of opened your eyes to your new cast of characters that get to be in your life, right? It's also a beautiful energy for... Um, adjusting any social things that you've got going on, social networking, Facebook, any of these kinds of things. We are in a very intimate time of change where there's a lot of angry energy at the surface. So in the social zones, are you putting out something good, right? Like you can look at those kinds of things. So whatever it is though, it's a very tribing up kind of energy, okay? Now on the seventh, we've got a new moon happening in Sagittarius. We've also got the sun and Jupiter over there. So it's a very expansive um, energy that's happening there. Now by the 12th, Mercury then joins this new moon energy in Sagittarius as well, because remember, we have that new moon energy for four weeks. So this new moon is where we plant our seeds of intention. We allow new things to bloom here. We allow a fresh start, a clearing happening here. And remember, the fresh new start has the sun, has Jupiter, then has Mercury, which is of the mind, and it's out of retrograde. So this is forward thinking in your 12th house. This is things from the past. Maybe you've got to step back and maybe the new friends you're inviting into your life are spiritual friends, right? Maybe they're friends who are helping you get past your past. This could definitely be an energy here where you're having a spiritual awakening with this um, new moon happening in Sagittarius. You could be in a time where you feel like you just need to be a little bit more um, reflective, not necessarily alone, but a little bit more reflective with this energy here in the 12th house. And it's beautiful to take time to do that. If you've got some plans as well that you're maybe working on behind the scenes, maybe you're working on on getting that group together or maybe you're working on something to bring new energy into your life but it's quiet and it's behind the scenes right there's a lot of healing that gets to happen with this new energy over this next four weeks and some of it has to do with your head and your mind right so allow that healing to come through and come um, move forward for you now on the 22nd, we've got a full moon happening in Cancer. So this is going to light up your seventh house zone because it's across the street, okay? So a full moon says we need to end something, acknowledge something, or make an adjustment here. Now, on the same time, we've got the sun coming into Capricorn. So happy birthday. Here it goes. We're kicking it off, right? So what's happening is your relationship houses are lit up. Now, this full moon in the seventh house really becomes a lot, honestly, about you, right? If there's a relationship that's in your life that has needed adjustment, has needed encouragement, has needed healing, has needed something like that, this could be a time where you're having those conversations or you're trying to nurture that in some way, shape, or form. If it's a relationship that you've recently let go of, you could also be nurturing yourself through it because it's a time to, with a full moon here in the seventh house, to really strike a balance between you and other people, right? So if you're a little off kilter, a little off balance here, use it as your ending acknowledgement or adjustment. Now this could also be create a shift in not just romantic relationships, but in business relationships as well. So if there is something in business, I actually think that the full moon here is a nice time to compromise and negotiate on something. So it could definitely just as easy be sweeping a relationship or relationship energy out, but it could be strengthening your position in your relationship. So you're showing up a little bit differently. Certainly a full moon in the seventh house tests relationships. And then you've got the sun on the other side and where the sun goes, it brings light, heat, life, and vitality. And it says, see me, see me. So the sun is over here saying, I'm a Capricorn, you know, see me. So what's happening is you are brilliantly trying to shine through. You are brilliantly having light, heat, life, and vitality in a different way. And it's also because you're taking yourself forward. You're putting yourself out there and putting yourself forward. So this this is a lot of shifting energy, but it's not shifting like we were before. This is simply energy where you take a deep breath and start taking some steps forward that really feel like they meet your soul's needs at the end of the year, right? So Capricorn, what I got to tell you is take a deep breath, drop your shoulders from your ears. You've got new people, places, and things on the way, and you've got a big voice that's ready and available for you moving into 2019 where Saturn goes you're going to level up. So whatever you went through this year, it's taking you to the level up position and do not shortchange that, okay?
All right, Capricorns, I love you so much, all right? Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. Come see me for a reading, a chart, anything else you need, you need a little bit of guidance, I'm definitely here for you, okay? And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.